Okay, so good day class. So, as you can see, sa, uh, sa screen nyo is uh, frame reactions. Okay, um, this one is sampled by Engineer Jimena. So, ayan, no, as you, uh, as he discussed, this one is statically determined no, using the number of unknowns and number of equations using the method of members na diniscuss ni Engineer Jimena sa video niya. Okay, so hindi ko na siya i-discuss pa dito sa ating uh, video. Uh, and then, uh, magbigay na lang tayo ng another uh, set of examples for a uh, method of okay, sa ating uh, frames. Okay? So as you can see, sa frames, no, um, we have what? Hinge. Okay, as you can see, hinge dito. No? And then this one. So, pangalan na natin yung ating frames. Yung ating uh, structure system. So, this one is A. Uh, this one is B. Uh, C and D. So, at point A and point D, we have a hinge support. So, meron siyang uh, dalawang reactions. Okay. So, assuming uh, A sub Y going up, and then A sub X going left, and then D sub Y is going upward, and then going right na D sub X. So, how many number of unknowns yan? And then, um, as you can see, sa structure system natin, or sa primes, we have this kind of structures or the pin. Okay? So, uh, pin yan, meron yung dalawang uh, reactions lang. Tama? So, by uh, method of members or method of frames, uh, pwede natin hiwalayin yung ating structures. So, ang una is yung merong uniformly distributed load. So, this one is the connections to our uh, fixed uh, hinge support, A sub Y, and then A sub X, our uniformly distributed loaded, so loading, and that is 2 kilo, uh, kilonewton per meter. So, that and then A, and then we have pin doon sa ating uh, B. Okay, so that is B sub X, and then another one is B sub Y. Okay, so ang connection naman is B, C, D. Okay. So we have B sub Y. And then, um, B sub X, and we have B sub X, and also, uh, B sub Y. Okay, and this one is point C. So, sir, bakit uh, hindi natin um, hiniwala yung member BC? No, kasi, um, wala siyang connection, no? Um, assumption lang siya na meron siyang um, joint. Okay, dun sa member sa BC and DC. Pero, wala siyang pin. So, di ba, dun sa drawing natin, no? Ang drawing ng ating pin connections na pwede natin ihiwalay dun sa ating rings is ganito. Okay? If sa other book naman, we have this kind, no? Or different based dun sa uh, makikita nyo sa module. Pero pag ganito, 2D dimensionalized sa drawing, uh, ganyan lang. Okay? So, dahil this one is square lang, ibig sabihin, joint lang siya. Wala siyang um, pin connections or reactions para i, i ihiwalay natin dun sa BCD. Okay, 
So, next is how many number of unknowns na yan. We have uh, four kanina from our uh, two hinge support and then B sub Y and B sub X. That is number of unknowns. is equal to 6. And number of equations, uh, we have 3 equations to this diagram, and then another 3 equations to uh, BCD diagram. So that is 2 times 3 equations, we have 6 equations. So therefore, the frames is statically determining. Okay? So, uh, with that, no, pwede na tayo magsimula to solve the reactions or the unknowns. Okay? So, simula tayo with um, A sub X, A sub Y, or D sub Y, D sub X using the original uh, diagram, no? using this one, to get the value of DY, DX, AY, or AX. Okay? So, summation moment, A is equal to 0, clockwise positive. What we have here is the 2 kN, okay, uniformly loading. So, yan is nag act to what? Now, dun sa middle ng ating rectangle or uniformly distributed loading. So, by how much yan? If this is 3, okay, this is 3 and the height is 4. Definitely, yung hypotenuse is 5. Okay? So, that is 2 times 5 is equal to 10 kN. And then, the distance is half of the 5. That is 2.5 meter. Okay? So, summation moment A is 10 kN positive times 5 2.5 meter or 5 over 2. 2.5 meter. Okay? Next is the 5 kN. No, this one. This 5 kN naman. That is 5 kN. Positive 5 kN times 5 meters. Okay? As you can see sa ating uh, diagram. Next is another 5 kN. So that is 5. And then the perpendicular distance is 3 plus 2 plus 2. That is 7. Okay? So plus 5 kN, 7 meters. Okay? Next is our D sub Y. Okay? So that is negative. Okay? Negative D sub Y. 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That is 9 meters. Okay? So, negative D sub Y, 9 meters is equal to 0. So, what we're gonna do is transpose this Y, uh, this DY times 9M to other side of equation to become positive. So, that is D sub Y. Nine m is equal to the summation of these numericals. So that is, as you can see, sa calculator that is ten times two point five, okay, plus five times five plus five times seven, okay. And that is 85. Okay? 85 meter kilonewton. Divide both sides by 9m to get the value of D sub y. Cancel out a meter. And we have D sub y is equal to 9.444. Okay? Kilo newton or 85 over 9. Kilo Newton. Okay? Uh,
to get naman the dy or bx dx we use this uh, diagram okay this one so yung diagram na yan is what merong 5 kN okay so that is 5 kN and then another 5 kN okay distance is 2m 2m and then then 2m height is 4m okay so yun yung gagamitin naman natin no, to get the value of b b sub x d uh, b sub y and then your uh, d sub x okay so moment tayo dito sa ating point b okay so, summation moment B is equal to 0, clockwise positive, we have negative pi, uh, positive, positive 5 kN times 2M, um, positive 5 kN times 4M, and then, uh, D sub Y, that is negative 6M, d sub y and then your uh, negative d sub x times 4m is equal to 0. So, commonly pwede na natin itong um, i-combine no? kasi our d sub y is 85 over 9 kilo newton. Okay? And then this one is i-transpose natin sa kabilang side ng equation. So, that is d sub x times 4m is equal to what? Okay, sa ating calcul, that is 5 times 2, that is 10, plus 5 times 4, that is 20, okay? And then minus the 6 times the value of d sub y, 85 over 9. Okay, that is negative 80 over t. So, this one is dx 4m is equal to negative 80 over 3 kilonewton meter and then divide both sides by 4m cancel out ang meter and then the 4m. d sub x is equal to okay, that is negative 20 over 3 kilo newton. So, therefore, ang d sub x should be going to left. So, that is d sub x is equal to 20 over 3 kilo newton going to left. Okay, that is your um, d sub x. Okay? Next is summation forces x is equal to 0, going right is positive, negative bx minus dx is equal to 0, and then bx is equal to negative 20 over 3 kilonewton. Therefore, b sub x is equal to 20 over 3 kilonewton going to the right. Okay, so this one is going to the right. Ito pala. Ating B sub x. Okay? Next is summation forces y is equal to 0 going upward is positive. We have d sub y minus 5 kN minus 5 kN and then negative b sub y is equal to 0. Transpose, we have d sub y is equal to, no, ating d sub y is 85 over 9 minus 5 and then minus 5. Okay, that is negative 0 0.5 or negative 5 over 9 kilonewton 
V sub Y is equal to 5 over 9 kilo newton upward. Okay, so this one is going up. Okay. Okay. So next is our AX and AY. So dito ang gagamitin na lang natin is the other side of your diagram. 